Okay, so we're going to build a banner advert using Flash CS4. The first thing that we need to do is to create ourselves a completely new Flash file to work in. So we'll create a new Flash file using ActionScript 3. Okay, so here's our file. Now, of course, the most important thing in a banner advert is where it's going to go on your web page or on anyone else's web page when you publish through an advertising provider. And that really defines the size of this area. Now, very much like newspaper real estate, the size of the area dictates effectively the cost of the click-through. So we need to get some guidance from the advertising agency as to those dimensions. And you know, also it's based on how you want to portray your company. Do you want a banner advert? Do you want a skyscraper? Do you want to pop up in the middle of the screen and so on? Now, fortunately for us, most advertising companies give you some guidance on this. And here is AOL's advertising suggestion pages. They give some information about suggested file size, suggested amount of audio or video or animation. But the most important thing for us at this stage of the design process is this ad unit size, which very much like newspaper real estate in terms of centimetres measurement or inches measurement, this is the same idea but in pixels. Now, there's a number of different sizes, all of which we can get a rough idea in our heads about you know, sort of dimensions. We're going to go for 250 by 250, a nice simple square banner advert. And you'll notice it suggests a maximum initial file size of 40k. Let's make a quick note of that to one side, and we'll come back to that 40k once we've produced the movie, and we'll see if we fall below it. The idea there is to try and optimise the download process for your users. So let's come back into Flash, and let's hit the Edit button over here in the Properties window, and change the size to 250 by 250. The default measurement units in Flash CS4 are pixels, therefore you don't need to put the PX into the document there. Okay, coming down a little bit further, the frame rate. Now, frame rate is often a very difficult consideration here in the movie. Obviously, this value should affect the number of frames that play back per second, but a number of other factors will affect it as well. The most important one, really, is the performance of the user's machine. If they have a slightly slower or maybe older machine, they may not achieve your 24 frames per second, and that may affect the experience they get, particularly with Flash video files. Also, if you put a large amount of content in your Flash movie, then Flash may simply not be able to redraw it in time to run at 24 frames per second. So watch out for that sort of thing, and you know, particularly watch out for jerky movies when you preview them and when you view them in the browser. So we'll set it at 24, and we'll see if we get away with it. Okay, so there's our movie. Now the work area here is quite small, so we'll just change that. We'll zoom in 200%. Makes it a lot easier to design when you're zoomed in. And then we'll save the movie. File, save as. It's going to pick up in a banner adverts folder that I've created, and I'm going to call it banner advert.fla. And hit save.